you again. Can I help you? Show me what you... Uh... Just in time, Vulcan. I'm afraid I need your help again. What happened to you now? To me, nothing. It's about my people. Have you ever heard of the Stone of Souls? No. Worth a lot? No. I mean, yes. It's priceless, but it's, it's not for sale. Uh, I'm not sure I follow you. I'll explain. Every elf possesses a Stone of Souls, which contains the memories and emotions from all the greatest moments of his life. These stones are passed from generation to generation. It's a way of preserving the memories of our people, and of honoring our ancestors. With all of those who died at Carol Thass, there are thousands of stones abandoned in the city. We cannot just leave them there. You are no doubt the one who will be traveling to our city the most. If you could bring back as many of them as possible, I'd be eternally grateful. Actually, all of my people will be in your debt. At least the ones who still live. All right, I'll take care of it. Don't expect to see me dancing around with a wheelbarrow full of rocks. That would, in fact, be an amusing sight. But I do get your meaning. Whenever you can, check the bodies of elves you come across and collect the stones. Even if we manage to save only a very few, we will at least preserve some of the memories of my people. I'll see what I can do. I'll leave you here. Vulcan, I hope you've got good news. I'll be going.
We'll be watching the sector. Thank you for your help, mercenary. Thanks for the help, mercenary. We're going to keep watching this sector.
The Deadwalker's sentinels are no longer a problem. For now. It's a start, but the main door is still out of reach. But now we're free to approach the city and look for another way in. Until the guard changes. Or until they realize they haven't heard from them for a while and stronger patrols come down on us like a ton of bricks. The die is cast. We have to go fast and be ready to fight to get our city back. If there is a way in, you can bet the Deadwalkers have secured it. Those abominations are everywhere. Not necessarily. They're pretty careless when they don't have a general behind them telling them what to do. Victory will have softened them up some. As long as nobody raises the alarm, we should be able to count on that at least. Let's hope so. And while we're on this subject, there's something else you can do for us. Ask away. The Deadwalkers still control the main road. One of the towers you took is near one of their barricades. When the undead notice they've lost contact with their sentinels, that tower will be the first on their list of places to visit, and it won't hold out for long. The soldiers I posted there will do their duty to the end, but if we could eliminate the barricade to gain as much time as possible, it would be a lot better for us. Save your spit. The barricade's no longer a problem. It was in my way, too. Really? Excellent. Now we can keep watch everywhere on the steps. I have some questions I'd like to ask you. How did you survive the battle at Carolthas? I was lucky. When we got wind of the arrival of the Deadwalkers, our king sent me to reconnoiter. I was outside Carolthas when they attacked. Over the days that followed, I tried to gather together as many survivors as I could. Alas, that was all I could do. Do you have any information about what's going on in the city? <sighs> Very little. I can only trust what the last soldiers who got out have said. Apparently, most of the Deadwalker troops have left, including Lord Blackfrost. He assigned one of his concubines to control the region, but I have no idea what kind of creature we're dealing with. That said, if the Ice Lords keep to their usual tactics, they'll clean up the last pockets of resistance and start transferring their prisoners. Do you know if there's any other resistance in Vertiel? The rare information I get these days is not good. Several human kingdoms have capitulated unconditionally. The Chiller has apparently laid waste to one of the major elf settlements in the East. We have no news of the others. There are probably pockets of resistance, but they are tiny and have no hope against the Deadwalkers. One more reason to hold here. We're Vertiel's last hope. What can you tell me about the Prince? I understand what you're asking. Is he up to it? The answer is yes. Since the start of this war, the Prince has always been in the front line. He has demonstrated skill and courage, sometimes endangering his own life. He has, of course, taken some unnecessary risks, but the situation was different then. I think he'll be more cautious in the future. I see. The young prince wanted to prove to his father that he was deserving of his affection. He was merely seeking to protect his people. Did your men find a way into the city? If they had, I'd be fighting in the main square as we speak. I'm still certain there's a way in. It's probably right in front of our eyes, but we just can't see it. What makes you so sure? Carol Thas is an ancient city that was built upon several layers. I haven't found any survivor that knows the city depths, but there just has to be an underground passage or a hidden entrance. A passageway beneath the city, huh? Almost sounds too good to be true. I'll see if I can find one. I'll be going now.
problem. Trying to force our way through would be a terrible error. We would alert the whole city. We have to find another way. The dead walkers kicking each other's asses. I beg your pardon? What? This one talks. What the hell are you? A lich? A zombie scribe? We've only known one another a few seconds, and already you insult me. Charming, I must say. If you aren't one of them, then what are you? I am an immortal, superior spirit. And you? So, you're an Ice Lord? I thought you'd be... Taller or something. I have absolutely no involvement with that bunch of cheapskate conjurers, and I would never humiliate myself by working for them, since that's what you seem to be suggesting. Oh yeah? Rotting flesh, check. Bones sticking out, check. Shitty complexion, check. You sure as hell look like a damn dead walker to me. Tut tut. Did no one ever tell you not to judge a book by its cover? It's true that you're young, but use your wits. Would I be fighting my own troops if what you suggest were the truth? All I can be sure of is that you're not really... alive. And that means you're my enemy. Plus the fact, you're in my way. body will not survive more punishment. In all my 6,000 years, I have never witnessed such power. You seem to be as unique a being as I am. What is the source of your power? What are you? There's a demon inside me, a creature of flame that claims to come from the world heart. How fascinating. Even if the term demon seems to lack precision. Nonetheless, I must confess that in spite of my vast knowledge, I have no idea what this entity really is. At last, something interesting. I was almost dying of boredom. I suspect that exploring what's inside you will probably be quite exciting. If you will forgive the illusion, a gentle joke. Never mind. At any rate, I'm coming with you. Ha! See? I did it again. Oh, come on. Do lighten up. I can't have you tagging along with me right now. I have something to do in the city. Wait for me back at the camp. We'll talk about what we think you and I are later on. Yes, I've seen where your camp is. Actually, it's quite surprising the Deadwalkers haven't noticed it yet. 
However, I suspect my unannounced arrival might pose a slight problem for your brothers in arms. Yeah. I guess with your face, they might not welcome you with open arms. Just tell them I sent you. And try to be nice. Very well. Do you know your way into the city? There's a hidden entrance not far from here. I'll show you where it is on your map. Thanks. city is an open grave. What have they done to my city? A curse upon them all! 
We'll be lucky if we find any survivors.
This way. You're a human. What are you doing here? And how... But it's the prince. Look out! Up there! Time to get yourself noticed. We're looking for the king. Where is he? He's... He's dead. You can't stay here, Prince. The city's not safe. Get us out of here, please! They might send us to their camps at any time. Go on. The way is clear. Hurry up and get to the support pillar in the north. There's a passageway there. Once you're on the steps, go to the cliff in the east. That's where the survivors have their camp. All right, but what do we do if we come across a patrol? We can't go with you guys, but I'll give you some tips on how to get out of this. To start with, don't stay all together. Send a scout out front and keep someone in back to watch behind you. And above all, make sure you stay quiet. The living dead aren't particularly watchful. If you stay in the shadows and you're careful, you'll be okay. Thank you, mercenary. I have one last piece of advice. It's okay to be afraid. It's a normal reaction when faced with danger. If you start feeling afraid, use your anger and don't give in to panic. You'll know what to do. Thanks again. And see you later, I hope.
doesn't look right. Son, my boy, C can it be you? Oh, fuck. By all the gods. Father, it cannot be. Do not look upon me. I, I, I am so sorry. Do not stay here. Take the crown and leave this place. Oh, Father, but what have they done to you? I surrendered. Lord Blackfrost told me that he was slain. That Marshal Winter's army had left no survivors at Bastion. I had not the strength to even raise my sword. And so he changed us, remade us, the other nobles and I, and all those who had taken refuge in the palace. He wanted me to witness our end, so that I would live without defeat and news of your death for eternity. But you are alive. <laughs> you live. Your mother and I are so relieved to know you live. Mother? But how... how can I release you from this curse? My son... If you only knew how sorry we are... You cannot save us. We are condemned to this abomination. You must slay us. The others... The Queen, the Count, all of these people... I feel their suffering. Hear their screams within me. Put an end to it, I beg you. Free us that our souls may be with you. Sire, I... I can take care of this, if you want me to. For pity, my boy. Whatever you decide. Take the crown. <laughs> He could see that you were alive, and you put an end to his suffering, in every way. I think you did what was best. I know. And I shall have the crown, and all that it represents. But I shall never wear it with dignity until I have reconquered my kingdom and slain this Ice Lord. We have to get back to the camp before the Dead Walkers come for us. The death of one of the Liches is bound to have gotten their attention. I will come soon. I must first perform a ritual to free my father's soul from this unholy carcass so that it may stay with me. I'll wait outside.
We can't afford to wait for Arendelle, not in his condition. The Dead Walkers will be scouring the city to find out who killed their lich. We gotta get back to the camp, fast. We waste our time here. The fate of these people is sealed. The sole act that can defeat the Necromancers is to take back the stolen energy of the World Heart. I decide what has to be done, with or without your agreement. Mercenary. The Sentinels and the other group were killed by dead walkers. And there's a group of undead on the road, stopping anyone from getting through. I'll see what I can do. that seemed like a dead thing came. It claimed you had sent it. Yeah. He's a potential ally. Don't worry about it. Ah, uh, I... I fear I attacked it. Him. And arrested him. He tried to talk to me, but I felt safer with it under guard. Considering it's... I mean, his... face. Where is he now? He is with the Red Scribes. Perfect. Got a moment? My dear, I have all of eternity. Who are you exactly? I am Mathras. Immortal and unique. Right. So why aren't you out there with your dead walker pals? First of all, I don't have any pals. I'm a little too old for that. Secondly, I find your implication that I'm associated with them most unpleasant. I have nothing in common with those dead things. I've been around for over 6,000 years, and I'm still very much alive, thank you. I admit this body is looking a little warm. 6,000 years old? Wow. You don't look a day over 3,500. You're too kind. Very delicate of you to say so. Nonetheless, these dead walkers are simply corpses that are animated by magic. Whereas I... I'm an immortal spirit who changes bodies when they wear out. There's absolutely no similarity. But that's awful. You steal bodies? Alas, voluntary donations are hard to come by. If you hear of any, do let me know. I'm on the lookout. But if it reassures your delicate sensibilities, I generally choose dead bodies. We need to talk about your combat style. What would you like best? Perhaps I should use Esper Hall the Ancient's fighting technique. Or something more visceral, like that of Manipur Three Blades. Come to Carol Thass. Why not? There's one thing you should know about eternity. It can be rather dull. 
So I do my very best to be in the right place at the right time. The place where it's the most fun. Fun? You think this is fun? Well, distracting then, if you prefer. What do you expect? I'm just so bored. The End of the World is a show I wouldn't want to miss. What do you know about the Dead Walkers? Apart from the fact that they're an incongruous mass of corpses with appalling bad taste that are animated through the use of magic, nothing. I can tell you that the power necessary for their creation, and to keep them working, is far beyond the magical abilities of any of your contemporaries. And since it's obvious they are incapable of any decision-making or strategy, they are clearly being controlled from a distance. All of which suggests the Ice Lords who are controlling these things are rather, well, rather powerful. Something I grant you quite difficult to believe when one saw them start out at the same pitiful level of incompetence as their brothers, the Red Scribes. In 6,000 years, have you ever seen a situation as desperate as this one? Honestly? Well, no. You are, as you might put it, fucked. Or at least the mortals seem to be. But you carry something within you that may modify things somewhat. And it is this seemingly insignificant detail, this flap of a butterfly's wing, which may eventually change the apparently manifest destiny of the world as you know it. This demon, as you call it, has never before walked the earth. Neither he, neither it, nor any other of its kind. If they had, I would know of it, believe me. Consequently, and in spite of the evident futility of such a sentiment, there may be grounds for you to feel a slight glimmer of hope. That is, of course, if it is your desire to avert disaster. Well, that's comforting. How are things with Sybil? I am quite moved by the child. Her hunger for knowledge reminds me of myself in the distant past, when I was young and still living in my first body. Nonetheless, she is far less attractive than you, and the poor child is about as transparent as spring water. What happened to the Elven King? I think he was simply lacking in strength of will and determination. They transformed him into an arch lich. It's a particularly delicate and extremely dangerous magical process that could only be performed by an Ice Lord. It can only be performed on an elf, and then only one who is desperate to live. How so? Elves have many flaws, but most of them do have a very profound sense of duty. If an elf believes he is going to be tortured to make him reveal the secrets of his people, for example, he can literally will himself to die. It would seem that this king was desperate to continue living at any price, rather than dying with honor. That is what allowed them to turn him into an arch lich. Do you have any ideas about what I am? In all my long lives, I've never seen your like. Even the term demon seems to be designed to cause confusion. I have seen real demons when I lived as a war drum player amongst the dwarves. Dwarves are just a legend. You're making fun of me. I would never mock someone as charming as yourself. Well, almost never. Thus the dwarves did exist, and I was once one of them. They used to use these little creatures, barely the size of toddlers, in their enormous forges. They were little red creatures with tiny horns and a wicked air about them. You see, they were able to survive in the flames. The dwarves called them demons. You look a little like one of them, only larger and more gracious, of course. And you have an even more pronounced affinity with fire. I will reserve judgment about the wicked attitude for now. I believe this affinity with flames is no coincidence. You are clearly a response, a weapon, and your purpose is to face the Ice Lords. It is entirely possible 
that you are the fruit of an attempt to rebalance the forces of nature. Alas, I have no idea which entity is behind all of this. Talk to you later. They attacked the wrong person. How dare they condemn our king to such a macabre fate? My father. It's time for us to repay the dead walkers in kind. I want to see them destroyed, so not a single one of those dead ever dare set foot in our streets again. We're going to launch a massive assault to take back our city. It is time to turn the tide of this war. Vulcan, we will need you and your extraordinary abilities. We have to send a small group to open the city gates. I'm counting on you. I know that you can be stealthy and incredibly effective. A few soldiers will be going with you. This is our best chance. Black Frost doesn't seem to be here anymore, and most of his forces went with him. But before we launch the assault, we need to strengthen our army. I've been told there are prisoners in the city. If we free those soldiers, we can add them to our ranks. We're also going to need to get our equipment in as good shape as possible. We're fortunate that our smith has survived. Let us hope he'll be able to provide us with everything we need. But it's better to make sure. Thou knowest that Blackfrost's palace will take us to the world heart, yet still thou doth waste thy time in vain battles. Thy stupidity knows no bounds. Vulcan, I need your help. What? Sorting books? Observing swamp critters? You don't think I have better things to do right now? That's not fair. I'm not stupid. I understand that what is most important now is the fight, and our soldiers... The Freeborn Blades will do just fine. Don't you worry about that. Not them, the other human soldiers. What's the problem? I'm not sure we can count on them. They've already lost the war. They're only staying here because the Elves are protecting them, and they've got no fight left in them. They have to believe they can win. They have to fight alongside the Elves and the Freeborn Blades. I've tried talking with them, but they treat me like a child. Maybe they would listen if you would talk to them. Me? Most regular army guys don't have any time for mercenaries. They just need to get their spirit back, boost their morale. I'm sure you could find some words to help them. Vulcan, come here. I need to talk to you about something. While you were in the city, the Deadwalkers apparently began stirring. Several scouts have disappeared without a trace. They can't just have been ambushed by chance. Someone must have given their roots to our enemies. I'm afraid we have a traitor among us. Though if that's the case, I don't understand why we haven't been attacked by the Deadwalkers yet. What's really troubling is that these disappearances pretty much correspond to your arrival here. Which means that your living dead friend is the prime suspect. Even if it's just as possible that it's one of the Red Scribes, or even one of your people. And why can't it be one of your people? Why would he do that? And above all, why would he wait until now to betray us? With your army decimated, and hearing that the king's dead, a soldier might really decide that the war is lost. There's no more hope. Day after day, hoping for a miracle. That gives way to the darkest of miseries. And in the end, he's had it, and wants it over and done with. Maybe. Regardless, we have to find the spy and silence him. You have demonstrated your effectiveness and discretion. Can you take care of this? Of course. I'll look into it. I've taken a tour of the camp, and it's like a sieve. Hmm. What do you propose? Well, I'd be safer with a few dozen well-placed traps. Do you think you could build them for me? I'll take care of that as soon as I get a second. I'll leave you here. Relmar. Yes? Yes. 
I have a few questions I need to ask you. Elves are pretty rare. I haven't had the chance to talk to many. Can you tell me more about your people? We are born in the trees, eat only seeds, and we spend all the live long day singing. I get the feeling you're fucking with me. Perish the thought. Well, it's just that we aren't that different from you humans, despite what one hears. Our civilization is obviously a bit older, so we have had the time to learn from our mistakes. We don't really live in the same rhythm as you do. We move a little slower, and most of us are prone to having at least some respect for the past. This is the reason why we never destroy anything, that we prefer to build on top of things. I've heard that you're immortal. That joke has lived for 15 generations. I will never get tired of it. No, we're not immortal. We live long lives, though, much longer than you. We are resistant to poisons, rotten food, and toxic body odor, apparently. Unfortunately, these things do not make us immortal. Don't elves ever make war? That's an impression we like to give other people. The fact is, we do go to war, just never against each other. You must understand that, given our long lifetimes, battles are fairly futile. This may well be what has motivated the choices of our king concerning the Ice Lords. But we certainly know how to fight, and you'll see proof of that soon enough. So it's the prince who gives the orders? The word orders may not be the best one. We do not submit nor obey easily. Our kings are a reference, wise men who can point out the way. They tend to guide us rather than give us orders. But to answer your question, it is his father, the king, who is the leader of our people. You seem different from the other elves I've met. Where are you from? Really? I seem different. And yet I have such pointy ears. And if you really want to know, I actually come from one of the most ancient and noble houses that exists. I'm even linked to the royal family. But I can assure you that I'm sufficiently far down the line of succession to be in no danger of being crowned. Reputation is no help either. Hey, as far as bad reputations go, every mercenary's got one, so we're used to it. Let's just say that I got into enough trouble to eventually be considered a traitor to my people. When I got involved in the war, I disagreed with decisions made by the king. He thought that this war, like so many others, would not last. That the conquests won by the Ice Lords would melt away like all the human victories before them had. But I thought differently. Right from the start of hostilities, I began to requisition certain resources I felt necessary for those doing the fighting. More food, more weapons, better armor. When my people discovered what I'd done, I was declared an outlaw, and many saw me as a thief, which, in a manner of speaking, I guess I was. What a bunch of cowards. If they had listened to you, we wouldn't be in this mess. I've been telling myself that for years, but I do understand their point of view. It is flawed, but not entirely thoughtless. They have had some time to prepare their forces and to learn the strengths and weaknesses of the Deadwalker army. This knowledge might allow us to turn the tide of the war, even if it does seem too little too late at this point. I'm guessing this is not the way you'd always imagined coming back to your lands. For years now, I've been waiting for the day when I could go back to my city. But deep inside, I've dreaded this moment. If I was ever coming back home, it could only mean one of two things. Either I'd been captured by my people, or I'd been forgiven because I was right. I would have preferred being captured. My city has fallen, and I do not recognize it. This is no time to feel sorry for yourself. This war is not over yet, and your people need you now more than ever. We have been swept away. There is no more army, no more supply base, and nothing left to fight for. How long have you been harassing the Deadwalker army without getting caught by your people? Nearly seven years. Seven years of guerrilla warfare, and you're still here. You know exactly how Carol Thass is laid out. 
you are going to be essential in the days to come. Perhaps. We shall see. Let's change the subject. I brought you a few I found. Thank you. I'm sure it doesn't seem all that important to you, but all the elven people are in your debt. Let's change this. I built your traps. I still need to make a few more. I'll leave you. Elmar. Yes? I need your expertise. Of course I will. Right. I'll make it quick. We're going to storm the city. With you, we have a chance. Knock it off, okay? Chance or not, I got no reason to risk my hide or my men's for that bunch of lazy bastards who, until now, have let us die without lifting a finger. Show us you're worth more than they are, and we'll see. Maybe. What better way to prove my worth than a duel? That's how we settle differences of opinion in my company a lot of the time. All right? I got a guy who should make you happy. If you beat him, I might change my mind. With what you got under your belt, who knows? Mercenary. Who knows? Maybe with guys like you, we can actually win. We're with you, Vulcan. You can count on us for the assault. Dead? In our camp? Aren't you afraid it'll communicate with its masters? It's a calculated risk. Your friend Edwin told me that she can interrogate those creatures. So we captured one. You really can do some pretty weird things. Listen, Vulcan. We're not going to turn down any information. If we can find out how to haul our asses out of the fire, I don't see how it can hurt. Ready to make it talk? If our fire breather doesn't need me right away, I can start getting ready. Excellent. Let's start the interrogation. Listen, maggot head. You're going to tell us everything you know. Uh, that's not quite how it works, Captain. It can't just answer questions like that. Tell me what you want to know, and I'll dig around in its memory to find the answers. In that case, why not dig everything out, so we don't miss anything? Even for someone as skilled as me, that could take weeks. Its brain, however limited, is like an immense archive that contains both recent memories and memories of its past life. All right. I want to know if that bastard Black Frost really has left the area. Let me concentrate. Yes. I see him raising the wave and turning the whole city into ice. This soldier must have been at his feet. Then he gave the order to attack and gave orders to several powerful undead. Apparently he left right after. He appears nowhere else in its memory.
What are those powerful dead you were talking about? I see a flying creature, like the one in the swamp, and others. The image is blurred. So is the army being commanded by a tormentor now? No, I don't think so. They make good spies, but poor leaders. That said, I don't see any real generals. Nothing that looks like that one that attacked the village. No, but Black Frost will definitely have left someone in charge. Someone he trusts. This soldier just didn't see who. What were Black Frost's orders? You have to understand that this creature's ability to comprehend is limited. From what I can see, it was told to keep watch over the city. He asked to be sent living people. Uh, prisoners. The other living people must still be alive and under guard. Other prisoners. And of course, that he be informed in the event of trouble. Does he know we entered the city? This dead thing doesn't anyway, but that doesn't mean a thing, unfortunately. I think that he... Oh no! He saw me! Huh? Who are you talking about? Well, well. Pruning the spirits of the dead. You can well imagine that this sort of communication goes both ways. So, that's where my dear rebels are hiding. I must break the link, right now! See nobody managed to kill you yet. Not before I've seen you blown up by one of your toys. Have you had the time to talk to the human soldiers? Yes, but they didn't say much. I don't think they trust us, or the Red Scribes, or anyone for that matter. They were just as stupid as we were. They thought they were going to join up with a great army to be safe. As you can imagine, they're a little disappointed. You think they'll stay? I don't think they're in any mood to fight. Once they've seen to their wounded, they'll be out of here the first chance they get. What do you think happened here? That we are no more than fucking insects to those bastard ice lords. Just one of them was able to wipe out this city with magic. We have no choice if we follow the rules. We have to find another way. Maybe your little flame problem could be a solution. Well, for now, we don't know shit. Tell you what, if you save our asses, I'll buy a round of drinks every day for the rest of my life. Now that's the kind of motivation I like. I'm going. I hope you've got good... I found a way into the city. There really is an ancient network of galleries beneath Carolthas. Excellent. This is our chance to try to penetrate the city and take control of it. Looking for a glorious last stand, are you? Don't get carried away. It's just a narrow passageway. You can get through it, but only a few at a time. It comes out right in the middle of the city, in the open. They'll just pick your soldiers off one by one. I see, but it's still something we can use. I'll just have to figure out how. I'll be going.
Can I help you with something, mercenary? Have you seen anyone leave the camp? Apart from you, nobody. Are you sure? It's important. Certain. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to get back to guard duty. Wonderful. Well, I've made progress. Mercenary. I'm leaving. Well, well. Show me what you have. Ah, uh, lad. Help you with something mercenary? Have you seen anyone leave the camp? Apart from you, nobody. Are you sure? Certain. Wonderful. Hey, Buffalo. I'm go.
Greeting. Can I have a... I saw not a book, men.
masonry. How did you get out of your coma in the village? I don't know. All I know is that I opened my eyes and heard the sound of fighting. I just had the time to grab my weapon and get out into the village square. It looked like the General of the Dead Walkers was waiting for me. Sometimes, the sense of duty is more powerful than the pain of wounds. Maybe the cure we made finally worked. Relmar told me about that. Maybe you saved my life twice, not just once. Who knows? In any case, I owe you a lot. I won't forget it. Do you know Relmar very well? I knew him well. A long time ago, when we were young. He and I were milk brothers. We grew up together in my father's palace. But life goes on, and by the time we were adults, we were forced apart. Relmar defied my father's authority and openly rebelled against his people. He betrayed us. He had a good reason for it. A good reason? What reason? Dragging us into a war with the Ice Lords without preparation? He did the right thing. He didn't want to watch all of Vertiel suffer and die. If the Elves had helped then, maybe we wouldn't be here today. We could talk about how just his cause is for days. How could we know what would have happened? Maybe we wouldn't be here today. He wanted to act fast. He was always impulsive. But that behavior led him to reject his king. And his best friend at the same time. He betrayed us, and his recent feats of arms can't change anything, even if it wounds my heart. Why did the elves enter the war so late? That decision cost us dearly. It isn't easy to watch the other peoples of Vertiel suffer and fall one after the other. But our king felt that we needed to gain time. We had information about the Dead Walkers that led us to be careful. Long before the war officially began, they were already crushing all of their opponents far to the north. And you said nothing? You could have warned the other kingdoms. We told them. We told them to avoid the fight, to flee and regroup. They didn't listen to us. So we preferred to stay neutral and not provoke the Ice Lords. They must have known they couldn't defeat us without losing a large part of their strength. So they saved the greatest prize for the last. We thought that our best trained troops could hold them. We underestimated them, and neglected to take into account the fact that each army they defeated made them stronger. Are you from Karalthas? Yes, I was born there. I spent most of my life there. Karalthas is one of the most ancient of our cities. I mean, it was. We knock things down so seldom that the city is built in layers. But I've unfortunately never visited the underground levels, and I'm unfamiliar with the passageways there. I suppose that's why you asked the question. I'll be going now. Vulcan, I hope. I still haven't found your passageway beneath the sun. It's there. I have some questions. I'll be going now. Relmar. Yes? I haven't been able to find any yet. If you wouldn't mind continuing the search, I would be truly grateful. Some of the stones... I'll leave you. Greetings, ma'am. I got it.
concentrate on anything to do with necromancy, healing, and of course anything about the world heart. I need to keep my hands free in case we have to fight. Vulcan, I, I saw you getting friendly with her. You should be more careful. She is not what she pretends to be. I know she's not playing straight with us. She's got her little secrets, just like everyone else. You don't understand. It's a lot more serious than little secrets. I found some very worrying information in one of the last books I read. Two or three hundred years ago, there were other groups of sages and magicians, like the Red Scribes. One of these orders was called the White Lords. Hmm. So you think that they were the ancestors of the Ice Lords or something? What does that have to do with Edwin? I'm getting to that. The White Lords lived in the north of Vertio, out in the ice. We know little about them. For a long time, it was believed they had disappeared. But in reality, they somehow transformed themselves. And in one of the books that I consulted, I found an engraving of a woman, one of their leaders. It was the portrait of that witch. It is suspicious. We'll have to check it out. Since you seem so close to her, try to find out more about her past. How old is she? Where was she born? I don't know. Just something, anything that might give her away. I'll have to be careful so she doesn't get wise to me. Keep me informed, but believe me, I'm almost sure it is her.